Hello, my name is Chris Jay and I'm Managing Director of Bascule Disability Training. Bascule is a unique social enterprise that offers disability awareness training to businesses and then uses 75% of the profit generated from that to do free disability awareness workshops for children in schools. In this video, I want to talk about hidden disabilities and disclosure and I see it very much as a follow-up to my last video on the need for the work of Bascule. People watching this video may have thought after the last one, well actually I don't have any people with disabilities in my business, therefore this isn't something I need to worry about. One in five of the population actually have a disability, which of course means that if you have more than five people on your team, statistically one of them is going to have a disability. To look at those figures in slightly more detail, 20% of the population have disabilities, that's 13 million people, but only 10% of them are wheelchair users. Why is that relevant? It's relevant because hidden disabilities are normally thought of as learning difficulties or mental health issues, and that's just not true. A hidden disability is any disability the symptoms of which can be hidden from view. Okay, so that's everything from remitting and relapsing multiple sclerosis, where you could be or could appear to be walking fine one minute and then the next day be in bed with significant difficulty or something as silly as a hearing aid being covered by long hair. This whole idea that disabilities are things that we see and they're the only ones we need to make reasonable adjustment for is just ridiculous. And you'll find often in big businesses that disclosure rates are normally fairly poor in terms of disability. In the large corporates I've worked with, you're looking at figures between 2.5 and 8%. And when you compare that to the 20% of the population that have disabilities, there is a huge gap there. And that is because of culture. Okay, People fear the outcome of disclosing their disability. I'll give you an example from training. Often about halfway through the training I deliver, I will pose the question, does anybody in the room have a disability they would be prepared to disclose? And occasionally someone will put their hand up and they will say, uh, yes, I'm dyslexic. I'll say, thank you very much for that. Does your line manager know? And the response is normally, oh God, no. And when I ask why not, the response is sometimes or often, um, well, actually, it doesn't affect my job performance. I said, OK, but could you be an even better job performer? Could you get that promotion that little bit quicker if perhaps you had a little bit of assisted technology or support? And then suddenly the penny drops. Why are you fighting your disability all the time when you could embrace it and get support? And that's what Bascule does. By bringing us in to deliver training, it shows that you have an interest in fixing or improving this area in your business, and it shows that cultural change is being brought about. And I can't think of a better example than this great quote from our case study from Critical Software. This is from Jennifer Carter, the former UK HR manager of Critical Software. We were very pleased to find that shortly after the training, a staff member felt comfortable enough to come to me and disclose the fact that they had a hidden disability. Having this knowledge has been very useful to us. It also proves that awareness makes staff feel more at ease and more comfortable in disclosing any disabilities they may have. We can now work to improve the working conditions or environment according to our team's needs and, if necessary, make allowances to help them work in a way that best suits them. The training with Chris has really opened up these conversations. And for me, no matter what kind of large business I work with, no matter what changes I make, this is a massive win for me because the fact is Basque brought about a cultural change in that organisation where somebody felt comfortable disclosing a disability for the first time. If you really want to bring about this kind of cultural change within your business, improve better performance, or perhaps recruit more people with disabilities into your business, then do contact us on info at or go to the website. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.